Imagine waking up, not to your alarm, but to a dinosaur roar. Your neighbors aren't people. They're saber-toothed cats and giant bugs. Congratulations, you've just time-traveled to the prehistoric era. So, what if you actually lived in the prehistoric world? No phone, no electricity, no coffee, just pure nature, and a constant chance of being eaten. Let's find out how long you'd survive, and what your life would actually look like. First, where are we exactly? Prehistoric covers a huge time span, from the age of dinosaurs to early humans. Let's drop you about 100 million years ago, the Cretaceous period, lush forests, warm climate, and, yeah, T-Rex. You'd step out of your time machine and instantly realize oxygen levels were higher. That means breathing would feel amazing. But also, bugs were gigantic. Imagine a dragonfly the size of your face. Next, food. You'd need to hunt or gather. Problem, you don't know which plants are safe. Good news, there's plenty of fruit. Bad news, most of it looks like it's plotting your death. You might think, I'll just cook my food. Except, no matches, no lighter. You'd have to rub sticks together while hoping a velociraptor doesn't decide you look like lunch. And about those dinosaurs? They're not movie monsters chasing jeeps. Most would ignore you, unless you made noise, smelled weird, or ran. So your survival strategy? Stay quiet, stay low, and maybe stay near the herbivores. They're like prehistoric alarm systems. If they start running, you run too. But here's the twist. You might not be the top of the food chain, but you are the smartest creature on Earth. Give you a few months, and you'd start making tools, fire, maybe even basic shelters. You'd become the very first modern human in a dinosaur world, basically a prehistoric MacGyver. Eventually, you'd adapt, but life would still be brutal. Storms, predators, and zero Wi-Fi. Yet, for all the danger, you'd be witnessing Earth in its most untouched wild form. The air's cleaner, the stars brighter, and every day feels like an adventure until a meteor shows up and ruins everything. So, would you dare to live in the prehistoric era, even for a day? Tell me in the comments what your first move would be. Hide, hunt, or hug a triceratops. And if you enjoyed this little trip through time, hit that like button, subscribe for more science meets chaos stories, and remember, stay curious, but maybe stay out of the Mesozoic.